today on the Book of Qualities book club, we're going to focus on this bunny. And if you pay attention, there are fireflies all over. So look for the little lights and you can actually see them flying. The quality today is creativity. Creativity is not efficient. She has a different relationship to time than most of us. A minute can last a day and a day can last an hour. She loves all the seasons. She's on intimate terms with the sun and the moon. It's New Year's all year long at her house, with celebrations for Celtic, Hebrew, Tibetan, Chinese, Japanese, and other New Year's too. Too numerous to mention. Creativity loves to gossip with the birds <laughs> and put on her masks and beads and dance with the animals. Although bright colors amuse her, she most often wears neutral tones. She's especially partial to off-white. Some people consider creativity selfish because she does what she wants. I have always found her to be gracious and most generous. She's certainly complex. If you have only met her in a serene mood, her flair for drama may offend you. She's not your aunt with the porcelain teapot who plays chamber music. If you're one of those people who only go to see her when she's starring in a major melodrama, you will not hear her rain songs. If you insist she's mad, you'll never see how still her face is when she returns from a dream. Sometimes creativity disappears completely or wanders around the back alleys for weeks at a time. She has a strong need to be occasionally anonymous. If you run into her at the post office line during one of those periods, you'll probably not recognize her. She's in a different place. It is almost as if her blood has slowed down. With the, when the blank period is over, creativity brings her free self home with her. Her skin is new. She's ready to work. More than anyone else, creativity understands the secret meaning of the months when nothing seems to get done. Oh, did you see the firefly right by the bunny? It's really pretty. They're everywhere. They're in the treehouse too.